So today, the Pasco County Mosquito Control District hosted uh, a technology field day, um, really just to showcase some of the newer technology that's used in mosquito control, UAS and drone technologies. UAS technology is really going to help us in several different areas. Um, we're pro providing some relief for our inspectors on the ground, so they're not treating such large areas. They can focus their efforts elsewhere, uh, but also some of the smaller sites um, are a little bit more difficult to get with a helicopter, and so especially those that are directly surrounded by houses and in the communities. There is more interest in drones in the mosquito control industry because there have been issues with keeping staff and using drones can help you get further in your treatments when you don't have as many staff. Drones are a great tool for field staff to use in hard to reach places uh, where you can't get into them by walking through them. If the water's too deep or too dangerous, a drone is a great tool that they can use. Mosquito control is really finding um, that UAS technology is bringing efficiency to places where they haven't had in the past. UAS technology is super easy for uh, anybody in the districts to learn and master within a short amount of time. Uh, typically our training schedules are about three days and that's learning everything from the system to the flight planning, to the flying, to the application. We are controlling Aedes tenurhynchus, which is our salt marsh mosquito. Uh, we also have a number of floodwater species. For drone applications, we would be looking at something more of a 30-day product, something with a little bit of a residual effect, um, so it's an area where we can put product out as a pretreatment. Central Life Sciences recommends using P35, Duplex G, or XRG Ultra. XRG Ultra is made with a carbon-free matrix, which means that it is nearly dust-free. Duplex G via drone because of the BTI shell. P35 is good for drone applications because it is a very consistent product. It's a heavy product and it can make its way through heavy vegetation to reach the water that you're targeting. I would recommend a P35 for a granular application. Um, right now we're seeing anywhere from 80 to 90 feet on the swat and it's just absolutely given the best efficiency for a district to be able to use out in the field. I recommend that districts take a real hard look at using drones for their applications because you can get into many different habitats that you couldn't reach either by ground or even by traditional aircraft. And um, the products that we have in our lineup that would be excellent choices are Altacid, XRG Ultra, Altacid P35, and Duplex G.